guys, I wanted to do a how-to video for you today on um, deep cleaning your jujube bag. Um, I recently bought um, this very well-loved um, Be All in the Lush Paisley, um, and it was in really bad shape <laughs> when I got it. It was filthy. Um, I mean, I knew it had some wear marks and stuff, um, a couple tiny holes on the bottom, which didn't bother me because I love this print so much. Um, but I was not prepared for how filthy this bag was. I had a whole like gray tinge um, all over the bag, um, plus areas of staining. Um, so I pretty much immediately set to um, try and restore it to its former glory. Um, and this is where we're at now. Um, after several treatments, um, it's finally nice and uh, bright and beautiful again. Um, so I kind of wanted to show um, some of the methods I used um, to get this bag uh, to its former glory. Um, if This is a deep cleaning video, so if you're just looking to uh, learn how to wash your jujube, um, there are other you know videos out there for that. I know Kate Schwenke has um, a very, very good um, how-to video on uh, washing jujube, but this is more of a... Uh, get the nasty out um, video. So if you've purchased um, a jujube that's uh, more well loved maybe than you were expecting or you've just uh, used your jujube and loved it really well and want to clean it um, and get all that nasty out, this video is for you. Um, you'll need uh, a few things to get this started. Uh, obviously you need a well loved <laughs> jujube. So I have um, this uh, well-loved pack beads and the Julia Ribbons print, or Julia's Ribbons print. Um, I bought this, I mean, it has some damage and stuff too that was irrelevant for me. It's, I bought this bag because I love this print and I thought it would be super cute to use for my daughter as an overnight bag. Um, this has already been um, pre-treated with some OxyClean and run through the wash once, but um, as you can kind of see, it's still got some dirty areas, especially um, on the strap. Um, so I wanted to try my deep cleaning method on it to see um, if I could uh, get the rest of the funk out. Um, so you need your, your nasty bag, um, and then a couple of, uh, other things. So the main, uh, thing I used to clean, um, the bag was a combination of equal parts hydrogen peroxide, Dawn, and baking soda to make a paste. Um, and after that scrub, I, uh, did some, uh, spot treating with, um, OxyClean, uh, stain spray, because this is the... Max Force. This stuff is awesome for anything. I love this. Um, it's also good for spot treating um, your jujube if you just get, you know, like something random on it. You spill chocolate. This will get it out without having to wash your bag. Love this stuff. Um, and then some OxyClean um, for the soak. So uh, first you got to mix everything up. So I already did part of it. Um, I just used um, a, about a fourth a cup of everything. It makes a pretty decent sized solution. So this is a fourth a cup. Um, baking soda, and I already poured out a uh, fourth a cup of the Dawn dish soap, so I'm just going to add hydrogen peroxide to that until it hits um, a half cup. Make it all pretty and bubbly. And then uh, pour the baking soda in that. It's like a little science experiment. And then I just mix it up with a toothbrush. And this is just a soft bristled toothbrush. Um, you could probably use any any sort of toothbrush. And mix that up. Basically, you just kind of want it to be like a paste, where you can see there's some baking soda and all kinds of stuff uh, to let it soak into the bag really well. So um, I'm gonna start on this bag to show you uh, with the bottom here and. Basically just lay the bag out and take your paste and then just scrub over the area. And I scrub it in pretty well. And honestly with this bag and when they're really dirty, like I did with my Lush, um, I did this all over the bag. Um, it was so filthy. 
Um, and I think that's just kind of good measure if the bag's already really dirty, especially if it's new to you and you don't know where the dirt and grime came from. Um, so pretty much just do this all over the bag. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you right now um, for time's sake. Uh, just scrub as best you can and a lot of times you can kind of see the grime starting to come out um, onto the toothbrush. Um, you can rinse in between <laughs> on the toothbrush if you want to. Um, but that's sort of what it looks like. Um, with a couple of bags that I've already done this to, um, I have for good measure let this sit for a few minutes um, once I've got the bag all scrubbed down. And then I just do a light rinse on it mainly to get um, the grit out, um, kind of wash the baking soda off, but still leave a little bit of the um, soap on there to help um, as a detergent. Um, and then after I've done that, I uh, kind of comb over the bag and look for um, really bad stained um, areas uh, that still haven't come out um, with the scrub. And then I put the OxyClean um, on that. And um, I let that kind of soak in for a couple minutes, use same toothbrush rinsed off and scrub that in. Or if it's really bad, I actually use my fingernails um, to help kind of grind that OxyClean into the stain. Um, and after that's done, I don't rinse, but I fill the sink up with um, lukewarm water and then I add some OxyClean. Um, I don't really have a measurement for this that I use. It sort of depends on how dirty the bag is. Um, so for my Lush, I put kind of a crap ton in there. But for this bag, I, which is pretty dirty but not as bad, um, and OxyClean does have recommendations, but I generally ignore that if I'm deep cleaning because um, it's not going to hurt the bag. Uh, so for this bag, I'd probably use about this much um, and just pour it in the sink. Kind of let it sit for a minute so it can do its little oxyclean thing. And then um, I'm not going to put this bag in yet because I want to um, scrub all of this on my own. Um, but then when you are ready to do the oxyclean soak, um, put the bag in, obviously. Um, I'm just going to use this washcloth as my bag. Um, and then I submerge it all the way down and kind of try to knead the bag and let um, the OxyClean water go, you know, swish through the bag and do its thing. Um, and then I let it sit for at least 15 minutes um, at a time, go back, re-knead the bag, turn it over, pretty much just try to make sure um, all the surfaces of the bag get covered um, by the OxyClean soak um, and get submerged equally. Um, so I would say, um, especially for a really dirty bag, like three to four hours is really good. You don't have to be totally on top of it, kneading it all the time. The OxyClean will do a fine, fabulous job of getting stuff out. Um, but kneading it um, does really help um, moving the solution through and getting more junk out. Um, and then after the soak, um, just rinse it really well um, with water and then reassess um, if it still looks dirty, grimy, nasty do the whole thing again. For my Lush, um, I've actually done it four times um, already just to kind of get it to a usable condition. Um, and I probably will do it uh, one more time um, while there's no like noticeable stains or anything. Um, the last soak I did, the water was still a little dingy. Um, and after the last soak that you do, um, or you could do it after any soak, I do what I call a power rinse. Um, so I just rinse and knead the bag. Um, so I put it under the running water um, and just do the same kneading motion to try to move the water through and get all of the soap out. Um, if you want to, you can also still run it through um, the washing machine uh, afterwards if you want, you know, for good measure to try and get anything else out. Um, the bag will be really super wet um, doing it by hand because um, you don't have a spin cycle. Um, so depending on the bag type, um, Packaby bee right here is pretty pliable, so it will be able to wring out um, some, as is the be-all. Um, but if not, um, pretty much uh, dry it with towels as best you can and hang it. These do not go in the dryer. 
Um, and I actually, for my be all, put it in front of like a box fan, um, kind of propped open with uh, towels and things to let air circulate through. You want to make sure these bags get as dry as possible so you don't end up with any mold. Um, so that is how you deep clean a jujube. Um, I'm a crazy bag lady and I buy these <laughs> ridiculously worn um, bags, but they can be brought back to life um, and it really is so gratifying um, just taking something that was so, you know, well of dirty that somebody else would just maybe throw in the trash or, you know, not think is worthy of being used again and kind of repurpose it. Um, it's especially good, in my opinion, um, to do for kids. So, like, I like finding uses for all my jujube, um, but kids are rough on bags anyways, and like this bag already had damage on it, it's going through the lamination a little bit, so not necessarily something I'd want to use for me, but kids are already so rough on the bag, I don't have to worry about my daughter ruining this bag, it's still sturdy, still got a lot of good life in it, um, totally functional, um, but if she wears the bag more, um, or rips it or anything, I'm not going to be heartbroken. And I got this for a steal. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I hope this helps save a lot of Jujube bags um, from certain death. And thank you so much for watching.